Over five years straight, Korea's held a uh, trade balance in the black. Last month, exports got a boost from sales of semiconductors, which grew for the seventh month in a row. Oh Soo-young has the numbers. South Korea's exports grew by double digits in May for the fifth straight month, driven by record-breaking chip sales. Outbound shipments in May amounted to some 45 billion U.S. dollars, up 13.4 percent compared to the same month last year. Among the nine key export products that saw gains last month, semiconductors and solid-state drives recorded a historic high of $8.4 billion, thanks to a huge boost in global appetite for Korean memory chips. OLED panel exports also soared to $720 million, the second highest amount to date. The total volume of exports grew by 6.4 percent. Korea's shipments to China continued to pick up for the seventh straight month by 7.5 percent. In fact, exports to all major trading partners increased, except to the U.S. and Middle Eastern countries. Meanwhile, imports rose 18 percent to $39 billion, but the country's trade balance remained in the black for the 64th consecutive month at $6 billion, with semiconductor sales expected to grow, along with a generally positive outlook on global trade this year. Experts say Korea is likely to see its exports figures continue to pick up for the time being, an upward trend that's continued since November 2016. All this, plus more investment in facilities and construction, has helped boost GDP. According to OECD data on Thursday, Korea's economic growth rate in the first quarter came to 0.9 percent, up half a percentage point from the previous quarter. That puts Korea well above the OECD average of 0.4 percent. Oh Seung, Arirang News.